This is One on One. Drew Logan Powell, he's an actor in The Dangerous Book for Boys, which is an Amazon series? Yes, it is. I'll describe it for folks. Uh, so The Dangerous Book for Boys is about like a family and we're mourning like our father's death and everyone's really devastated, but there's something that brings like humor to the family. Uh, so before the father died, he sort of wrote a book for the boys to help them grow up without him. And so basically, whenever the youngest brother, Wyatt, uh, opens the book, he goes into a whole fantasy world, and it's really cool. What drew you to this? So, when I was, like, auditioning for this role, I really enjoyed, like, the character, and honestly, I had a lot of fun playing this dumb character. <laughs> Is this <laughs> Dash? Yeah, this is Dash. He's the middle of the three brothers. Why do you use the word, quote unquote, dumb? So, he's kind What's of the dumb jock. Um, yeah, that's us right there. Uh, I got to work a lot with Kain Zelensky and Gabriel Bateman. They're both very cool uh, kids. Um, but I use the word dumb because he's not very smart up there. Uh, he doesn't know how to pronounce the word gnome, doesn't really know what he's doing all the time, but it makes for good comedy, and that's what I really like doing. But this is very different from you. Very different. How would you describe yourself, your non-acting personality? Who are you? Uh, I've been told I'm very confident and I'm pretty smart, uh, but yeah, I'm kind of different from Dash in a little bit of ways. When did you know that I always ask people when they come in here this question, and it's not always the same answer, which makes it fascinating for me. When did you know you really wanted to perform, be out there? So when I was four years old, it was Easter, and I was like walking around and like smiling for the cameras and like pretending I was a model and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Where? But, uh, I was in like my living room. Okay. You know, just hanging out with the family. And then, so I knew then that I really wanted to act and like be in front of the camera. So ever since then, I started begging my mom to let me do it. And for four years, she said, no, no way, not doing this. And eventually at the age of eight, so four years later, she finally said yes, and it just. So now you're 12. So you've been only doing this for four years. Yeah. You wore your mom down. Mm -hmm. She didn't want to listen to you anymore. No. She knew you. this wasn't a phase or a fad. Yeah. It was real. Mm-hmm. How do you, and now you got this whole, by the way, Brian Cranston is in fact producing this series? He is, and it was so fun meeting him. He's such a cool, laid back guy, and oh, I learned a lot from him. Let me ask you something. That's a great shot. Boy, is he the, just about the best. So what I'm curious about is, <clears throat> I'm often, you used the word confident before, and so I'm always interested in how adults and kids deal with the question of confidence. You get to go up for a part, no guarantees. A lot of most people are rejected. Have you had to deal with rejection yet? It's much easier in this business to deal with rejection because they're not saying it straight to your face. Like we're not taking you. You just don't hear back. So it's a little like nerve wracking, just waiting there, tapping your toes, like whittling your fingers. But eventually, after a couple weeks, maybe you give up. But there's been times after a month. I thought no, and then all of a sudden, I get a call back. So it's pretty easy at times to deal with that. But you were out on the island, you are born and raised on the island, uh, not Staten, but Long Island. Yeah. How, again, I'm from Jersey, so I was curious, New York always seemed so far away from me. Did it seem, as a little kid, <laughs> which you are now, but even younger, did New York City here in the heart of New York and also Broadway, a couple blocks away, did it seem really far away for you? So it kind of seems far because like as a young child, you're very impatient. So I would like just like kind of like wait in the car just trying to get here. But now it's a lot easier because uh, like I have like a two hour drive. It's and you do your homework long. in your car. I do my homework. So um, it's so easy to catch up with the schoolwork if I miss it and stuff like that because I got that two hour drive all to myself. What kind of reaction have you gotten from the kids you've grown up with to your um, success? So. I don't really like bringing it up because I feel like I'm bragging to them a little bit. But when it does come up, I have had kids that like don't speak for the next couple minutes and just like stare at me confused. <laughs> what do you mean? 
So they'll just be like so startled and like confused because like they've known me for maybe a couple weeks, haven't brought it up because yeah. just feel like weird bringing it up, you know. But but you're multi-talented in that you're also a competitive dancer. That is true. Describe I, it. Um, so I dance on a competition team. And so basically I do a little bit of every style. I do funk styles, hip hop, acro. Yep. Wow. Yep. <sighs> wow. So I do contemporary too. I did a little bit of tap. Uh, I did gymnastics for a couple years before I danced. And Where'd you get the discipline to work as hard as you have to work to be as successful as you've been so far? So I love being in front of the camera, so, and like performing in front of people and people cheering for me. So I know if I don't put that whole effort in, maybe I won't get as many cheers. But if I don't get as many cheers, it doesn't bring a huge smile to my face, so. So yeah. you get the whole idea of having to work hard to get the opportunity to be out front. If you don't put the effort in, you won't get the good outcome, so. You should be a motivational speaker for kids. <laughs> Uh, listen, I, I, uh, can I plug again? Drew Logan Powell is uh, one of the actors in a terrific Amazon series. It is called The Dangerous Book for Boys. Uh, Georgette, this is from a book, right, of the same name? Right? Uh, and by the way, I also want to make it clear that uh, you come from Long Island originally. You got into this, just if you missed it before, four years old. You kept pressing his mom until he was eight, and then she said, okay. So a message to all the kids out there, um, be a pest and challenge your parents to do what you want to do. And sooner or later, if they're as serious as you are, they can be successful. Yeah. Hey, you've been great. I wish you nothing but the best. Thank you. Thank you, young man. Be right back right after this. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation, celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. This special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato is brought to you from the Tisch WNET Studios at Lincoln Center. Funding has been provided by St. Joseph's Health, Berkeley College, Suez, Horizon Blue Cross Blue Shield of New Jersey, the law firm of Gibbons PC, NJ Best, New Jersey's 529 College Savings Plan, turn a dream into a degree, and by Adler Aphasia Center, Promotional support provided by NJ.com. Small news, big news, true Jersey. And by JerseyBites.com. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area.